world with the days getting longer and the hillsides flushed with greenery, our Desmond Shaw is excited to get outside. And in tonight's look at this, he has the decades long community struggle for park space on LA's east side. We'll take a look at this hillside. This is Elephant Hill, a large slice of open space that's been a frontline fight between residents and community activists trying to preserve it, developers who want to build luxury housing, and others still who abuse the land for illegal purposes. The largest open space left in El Sereno, named Elephant Hill because, well, it's actually said to resemble an elephant from an aerial perspective. In the early 20th century, online publication LA Taco says this was the home of the Lifer Dairy, which flourished into the 1940s with chickens, goats, and cows roaming the hillside. After that, it seems the 100-plus acre area was subdivided between dozens of different owners left mostly undeveloped and served as a de facto park for El Sereno for generations. But in the 1980s, a huge multi-decade battle ensued when a developer acquired a significant portion of the hillside to build luxury homes. Through community lawsuits, a housing bust, and ownership changes, the project didn't really move forward until 2003. But according to LA, as residents were able to find allies at City Hall and stop the project after community members were able to show that the developer was violating their own environmental impact report by building on much more acreage than they said they would. In the end, the city was able to buy about 20 acres of the hill and rezone it as open space, which was a massive victory for El Sereno activists. The goal has always been to turn this into a full-fledged city park or open space with hiking trails managed by the Mountains Recreation and Conservation Authority, but there have been funding and bureaucratic challenges. Unfortunately, there's also been a lot of lawlessness in the form of off-roading and dumping. Contractors have been known to dump waste material here from home remodels, cars, boats, and even a coffin have been dumped here as well. But community groups like the El Sereno Community Land Trust and Save Elephant Hill have held cleanups to haul out literally tons of trash, and they also work with LAPD to try to prevent future dumping. As for the off-roading, Community groups have been petitioning the city and the state for barriers to block vehicles from accessing Elephant Hill so easily. And recently, the MRCA and community groups have received over a million dollars in grants from the state to build vehicle barriers, educate the community on environmental issues associated with off-roading, and to restore native habitat on Elephant Hill. Decades of challenges and still plenty of obstacles ahead, but you have to admire the tenacity of El Sereno activists to preserve Elephant Hill. And when you come up here for the 360-degree views at sunset, you'll better appreciate what they've been fighting for all these years. Thanks to Lisa Iana Reno for telling me to check it out. Taking a look at this from SkyCal, I'm Desmond Shaw. And if you'd like Desmond to take a look at something interesting in your neighborhood, write us at lookatthis at cbs.com.